Everyone thinks we need a thousand to two thousand dollars MacBook Pro to start demos. That's complete nonsense. If I had to start over today, I'd actually use my phone with a terminal app, the CLI, before spending thousands on gear I don't need. Here's the thing about DevOps. It's not about the hardware, it's about understanding systems. And the biggest mistake beginners, you know, make is thinking expensive gear will make them better engineers. The reality is that most of your actual work happens on remote servers and, you know, instances or EC2s, right? We could explain it later on what that means. Now, let me be brutally honest. If you're just starting out, you're going to get a company laptop when you land your first demo stroller. So why blow your savings on, you know, something you barely use like professionally? Now your options are simple. If you have Windows, that perfectly works fine. You'll spend time fighting compatibility issues and you'll spend time setting up something called WSL, Windows Soft System for Linux, which is fine. Or you can just use Killer Coder, which I'll explain later on what, what that is. If you can do Linux, amazing, right? That's perfect for learning, but that might be overwhelming for most people, especially if you're brand new. And that's okay, you know, because sometimes you have to do with your system. But if you're techie before you join tech, amazing. The last one, which is, the sweet spot and I recommend for most people is a Mac, right? Which is Unix based. That means it's part of Linux family. If you can spend 300 to 400 quid on a you know, Mac, that would be amazing, right? And that's widely used in the industry. And it just works out of the box, right? Because it's part of Linux family. You can use the Linux commands and it's, that's what you need, right? Mainly. And like I said, option four, which is if you don't have either of them and you just, you know, you have um, someone's laptop you're borrowing for a day or two, you can set up your own EC2 machine or you can use something called Killer Coder. Now, Killer Code is amazing, but it's a platform that gives you free machines to play with, right? Which is perfect because you can use Linux and learn on the go. Now, here's my actual recommendation. If you can get a used MacBook Air or Mac Mini for like 300 or 400, go to the back market, Facebook marketplace and other, you know, second hand marketplace or similar size. That'd be amazing. Maybe M1 Mac Air or, you know, something from 2020, right? The point here is that you're supposed to be frugal, right? Now, these are more than enough to your job. Now. Think about what you're actually doing right in DevOps. Estation into servers, running the containers, writing some scripts, maybe spin up a local cluster on Kubernetes, maybe. You don't get rendering 4K videos or training big AI models, right? A basic machine with 8 GB RAM and a decent CPU is more than enough. Starting with these constraints forces you to be efficient. Now you learn, you know, to optimize your workloads, you'll use cloud resources effectively, and you won't rely on like, you know, brute force hardware to solve big problems, right? Now, the point here is frugality. If you go on the Mac tree, you can grab a, you know, cheap external monitor, you know, a decent keyboard, and that's your set. Go to budget can be less than $500 or even pounds. Less than that, right? If you're really adventurous on Android Linux, maybe you can do with your machine, right? And this is great, um, but, you know, don't let the setup complexity delay you from actually learning DevOps. Now, remember, every senior DevOps engineer started with whatever they had, right? You're focusing on learning the fundamentals and the core tools, right? Not on having the perfect setup to start with, right? Your future employer, and trust me, they will give you a fancy, you know, M4 latest 4K MacBook Pro. The point here, you need to learn to be frugal with what you have. That means spending the least you can and getting the most work done. If you find that beneficial, come back for more, you know, like, subscribe, and I'll share more of these DevOps tips for all you folks. Until then.